was in the semi-finals, so straight down to fight for third place. Takei have lost in the quarter-finals, so he had to do a repercharge fight, uh, meeting Latsy of, of Moldavia. He's another great young athlete, actually, up and coming. Yeah. There's a lot of them, isn't there? We, we've seen a lot. <laughs> Always seems to be the case, I think, this, the federations tend to start running them in during the end of the Olympic cycle, because they know chances yeah, are... Yeah, for the next one. Yeah. yeah. Oh! Uchimata. No grips, though. No uh, kumagata on the sleeve. Okay. Confident, but no control. Yeah, just he had him <laughs> going up, didn't he? You know, so that was a good thing. Similar situation to uh, the 73 kilogram from Georgia. I think everyone was probably expecting to see Malai in the final block. Yeah, well, and we had um, Mukiyi right, yeah. went out as well. Yeah. Usually these front runners and the big names that we usually see on the podium haven't had the most successful tournaments, and now we're seeing the yeah, younger well, teammates. Porsche's Villa, he went out. Li Juan, he's through. Um, Nagase went out in the early rounds. Yeah. Got your drapu, another seeded player. Still going with that Oshimata. Yeah, just keeps plugging away with it. Manhandle them over. I think the thing is about Neiwaza is you know the ones that really know what they're looking for. You know, they'll dig in, try to get the arm, or try and get some kind of control. And we were saying, weren't we, about the Japanese women's team and how efficient they are with their transition. Yeah. They know exactly what they're going for. And then you talk about them having a system and just going from one to the other, no matter what's happening. It's plan A, B, yeah. C, D, isn't it? And if plan A doesn't work, it's, it's on to plan B. Actually, opening up this morning, you just saw how critical Neuwaza was. It was contest after contest won in Neuwaza. Yeah. Okay. Well, especially if your coordination's not quite there, your touch was the one, you know, and you're, you're not quite warmed up. I often think about... Um, how warmed up they are first thing in the morning, you know, and how used to training at that time in the morning as well. Your body's not quite there, and you can often see it. I remember my dad always used to say to me, he said, you know, win your first fight, you're not going to win your last one. <laughs> well, it will be your last one. Okay. Attacks used to seem to be in favour of Takayev. Struggling to find his foot in the pockets. Yeah, there's a lot of shooting points. Yeah, just well ahead on the attacks. And then the big off. Okay. So that was a win for Darren Karapetian on the other Tatami. Who actually lost to Mark Matnikov earlier on. Strange so, how that works. Yeah, it? so he's already got the bronze. So it'll be a bit of a shame if it doesn't go in the way of Mark Matikov. Wow. That's the thing, isn't it, about the cross repper charge. Yeah. Yeah. It's never a good thing when he tells him to tie up, which is it?